My name is Pavan and uh, I'm one of the two engineering tutors here at LMH and in the department I'm an associate professor in information engineering. So my research focuses on uh, machine learning which sort of loosely speaking is uh, the, uh, the way of designing methods that impart the ability to machines to behave like humans. So for example if you were to take uh, a camera and, and take a picture uh, what a computer actually sees from that is the color of every single pixel, whether something is green or red or brown and so on. But of course, what a human sees is like how many objects are present there, what is the, uh, like, you know, what is the actual scenario, is it an urban scene, is it a rural scene, etc. And so what we would like to do is to develop algorithms such that a machine can actually take those color values and process that information out of it. Uh, so that, for example, if you were to basically put such a computer on a car, then a car could actually just drive by itself rather than requiring a driver to, to sort of brake whenever there's a pedestrian or start again when the, when the light goes from red to green. What we work on is called optimization. And what that actually involves is, so for example, if I were to give you a nail, and then I would say, okay, you can either choose to use a hammer, a screwdriver, or a smartphone uh, to actually nail, nail it in. Um, well, obviously what you would do is sort of look at every single one of these quantities and figure out what would be the best thing to use in this scenario. Uh, if I were to try and scale this up from three potential tools to millions and millions of potential tools, then we can't actually look at each one of them individually. And so my research is mostly involved in how do I uh, make this search very, very efficient so that I can actually use it in practice. Oxford is one of the leading uh, universities in the world for this. Uh, we have a very, very big uh, sub-department within engineering uh, called information engineering, which is consistently ranked amongst the best uh, machine learning artificial intelligence scheme ever. Uh, and in fact, uh, part of the, the information engineering department is actually responsible for the first autonomous uh, vehicle being tested in the UK as well. Uh, on top of that, we have like great collaborations with the industrial leaders as well. So um, we actually do a lot of collaborative research with, with uh, Google, with Microsoft. And so we work on real data and the impact of that is sort of immediately uh, visible to the real world. In terms of engineering specifically, I would say there are two very good reasons to join LMH. Uh, first is that the department is actually very close to where we are uh, and it makes a lot of uh, difference because you can sort of go to your lectures and come back and not waste a lot of time during transit and the walk is a very beautiful walk through the university parks which brightens up your day a little bit. But secondly, I would also say that uh, Oxford's unique in terms of engineering. It basically offers two years of general engineering and then it's only in the third year that you start to specialize. And uh, at LMH, we make sure that regardless of what speciality you choose, so mechanical engineering, civil engineering, or information engineering, there'll always be somebody here who can talk you through what is required to actually um, you know, go and do well in that specialization. The courses you have to choose, the, the lab reports that you have to write, and the, the future choices that you have to make in terms of industry or academia. Uh, so it's a great place to be if you want to study engineering.